This is an Apple AirTag, and this is a Tile Mate. Both are Bluetooth tracking devices that you attach to an item to keep your dibs on it, or if you lose it, find it. And as similar as they may seem, they are actually quite different. Tile has been around for years and fundamentally hasn't changed much. You can use its tracker along with the Tile app to find your keys, phone, and other items nearby or locate a missing item that's far away with Tile's community. Apple debuted its AirTag in April at its giant spring virtual event. And at a basic level, it does pretty much the exact same thing. But there are a lot of differences to go through. And let's start with size. Tile offers a handful of models, each a different size and thickness. There's the $20 Tile Mate, which is about the size of a couple of poker chips stacked. There's the Tile Pro, which is a slightly bigger Mate that has a longer Bluetooth range and costs $30. It's probably the most similar to an AirTag in terms of features. Then there's the Tile Slim, which is a credit card sized option meant for wallets and that costs $25. Also $25 is the Tile Sticker and that is probably the closest in terms of size to the AirTag. It's actually a little bit smaller. Apple makes one version of the AirTag and it costs $29 or $99 for a four pack. It has a rounded white plastic front, which you can engrave for free on Apple's website and a stainless steel back. But the biggest selling point for the AirTag is Apple's Find My Network, which is made up of hundreds of millions of Apple devices. And in April, Apple opened the network up to third party companies to use to track items like bikes and headphones. And well, this will only just increase the number of devices on the Find My Network and make it even more robust. Tile doesn't list an exact number of how many devices or people are on its network, but on its website, Tile shares that there are over 10 million Tile trackers sold. And in cities like New York and San Francisco, Tile claims that there is a Tile user every block. But what if you don't live in New York or San Francisco? I'm staying right now in Greenville, South Carolina, and well, it shows that there are over a thousand Tile members nearby. Look, Apple has the clear advantage here in terms of nearly a billion devices that can locate your AirTag versus the over 10 million on Tile's network. And look, here's why. Let's say you lose your keys, but have an AirTag attached. You put the AirTag into loss mode and you can even enter a contact number if you want. And as soon as someone with another device on the Find My Network, like an iPhone, comes within Bluetooth range of the AirTag, it will communicate securely and anonymously with that iPhone in the background to update the location of your lost keys. Tile offers a similar functionality with a notify when found mode in its app. And any phone, Android or iPhone, that has the Tile app on it and that comes within range of your lost Tile will update its location. Look, in terms of setup, Without a doubt, the AirTag is comically simple to set up. Just bring it next to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, and a small connect window pops up at the bottom. It's just as easy as setting up AirPods. Tile's setup is a bit more involved, but going from a phone without the app on it and without a Tile account takes just a couple of minutes. And that brings me to the operating system conundrum. Using the Find My App, only works on iOS, iPadOS, macOS, and iCloud.com. But what if you have an Android phone or Windows computer? Well, Tile works on Android, iOS, and Windows via an app. And I should also note that both AirTags and Tile have Siri support, but only Tile support to Google Assistant. When it comes to durability, the AirTag is rated IP67 for dust and water resistance, meaning it can survive being submerged for 30 minutes at a depth of one meter. Make sure you check out my pal Lexi Savidi's video where she washed, dropped, and froze an AirTag. The TileMate and Pro are only able to survive a splash or quick accidental drop in water, but the Tile Sticker and Slim are able to withstand splashes and being submerged under a meter of water for up to 30 minutes. Tile claims the Mate and Pro will last a year on its battery and the Slim and Sticker will last three years. 
The Mate and the Pro use a replaceable battery. The AirTag also has a replaceable battery, which should also last a year. One factor that sets AirTags apart from Tile is a feature called Precision Finding, which works with Apple's U1 chip and its ultra wideband technology. You can activate Precision Finding from the Find My app by tapping the Find button. An interface pops up showing you how many feet away your AirTag is and what direction to walk in order to find it. Precision Finding only works with the iPhone 11 and 12 generations of Apple phones. In terms of attachability, I know that's not really a word, the Tile Mate and Pro each have a keyring hole, making it easy to attach to a number of items without the need for a case. The AirTag does not have a keyring hole, and yeah, sure, you can slide it into a backpack pocket or a bag, but otherwise you need to buy a case to attach it to keys and other items. And Apple sells some ranging from $29 to $39, which instantly doubles the price of the AirTag just to be able to attach it to something. And I won't even get into the $300 to $350 Hermes or Hermes AirTag case. I mean, clearly you have money if you're buying that, but I, I guess you could always just use tape. But here's where Tile's selection of trackers helps you. If you want to put a Tile Mate or an AirTag in a wallet, there's gonna be a bulge and it's, ah, it's just gonna be awkward. Instead, I can use a Tile Slim and put it in my wallet and it still looks and feels like a normal size wallet. In fact, I should note that the Slim is about the thickness of a security card, which is eh, like a thick credit card. The AirTag has a cool discovery feature. So let's say you lost your keys, but you had an AirTag attached. If someone finds your keys, they can use their phone, if it has NFC, and tap it against the AirTag and be brought to a website that shows them a contact phone number, if you left one. And this works with both iPhones and Android phones with NFC. So if you have Google Pay or Apple Pay, you have NFC. Now, one of Tile's most celebrated features is the ability to double press the Tile button on the tag itself to make your phone ring, even if it's in silent mode. The AirTag has a feature to deter people using it to track another person. When the AirTag has been away from its paired iPhone for three days, an alarm will automatically play to help someone locate the unknown AirTag. And if you're an iPhone user, the same three day separation will trigger a notification that there's an unknown AirTag that has been traveling with you from place to place over time. These features are not foolproof, but Tile doesn't offer any such safety against unwanted tracking. Now that being said, both Tile trackers and Apple AirTags are designed to track objects and items, not people. And also there are not GPS trackers. At the end of the day, which one is better? Well, no surprise here if you're an iPhone owner and have other Apple devices, it makes a lot of sense to get an AirTag. And if you're an Android or Windows user, Tile is likely the best choice, though Samsung owners should also consider the Galaxy Smart Tag. Now, if you need flexibility in terms of attaching a tracker or different sizes or color options, Tile offers more products and more choices, making its system more versatile. Uh, pun not intended. Look, now I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think about Tile trackers and Apple AirTags? Which one would you get, or do you own um, either? And if so, I'd love to hear your experiences using them. Throw your thoughts in the comments. Let's end on some uh, music here. <laughs>